Hi guys, I am so excited that you're joining me because we're going to be exploring the wild and crazy world that is fonts. This is actually going to be a two-part video, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one, which between you and me is probably going to be the more exciting video. But this video, we are going to do a really quick crash course to learn how to use fonts and text in Canva and learn just some of the basics that you need to know to start designing with it. And in the next video, we'll talk more about some of the cool things that you can do with fonts, specifically how you can use them in your business. I don't think there's anything else that I had to say, so let's get started. So to insert text, you're just gonna go over on the left side of the screen and your little toolbar here. You're gonna find the one that says text and it has a capital letter T for text. So you're just gonna click on that. When you click on that, it'll bring up all the different text tools that you have. Up here at the top, there is a search bar where you can search some of the pre-made text combinations in word art that's down here. So directly beneath that, there's a button that says add a text box. And if you click on that, it just quickly adds a text box to your design. If you go down just a little further, we have a spot for a brand kit. And this is something we'll probably talk more in part two that just gets a little more advanced than what we're gonna be doing in this video. This section that says default text styles that kind of goes along with the brand kit you can set certain fonts for like the heading and the subheading and the body text for the different text hierarchy so if we scroll down just a little bit further you can see some of the pre-made text combinations and designs that canva already has so these are super handy for scrolling through and using for inspiration or finding good font pairings which we'll talk more about that in the next video so be sure to come back for that but Let's go ahead and get our hands dirty and jump into the text that we already have put on our design here and see what else we can do to customize it. So there are a lot of things that we can do in Canva to really transform our text from just boring old text to one of these nice little word art designs over here. But we first have to understand the basics. So just like images and any other elements in Canva, we can click on the text, we can drag it all around, and we can also rotate it. We can just turn it all different crazy angles if we want to. So let's see what else we can do by looking at the toolbar up here at the top. Our first option is to change the font itself. So all you have to do is click on the drop down list to open up all the possible fonts that you can use. So there's another search bar up here at the top where you can type in styles or specific font names to quickly filter the results. Beneath that are recommended fonts that Canva automatically suggests based on the fonts that you have in your document already. All right, if we just keep scrolling down, we have recently used. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Those are fonts that you have recently used in this design or other designs as well. Okay, so we're just gonna scroll down a bit further. And if you're a pro user, you can see it has the little crown. That means pro. So if you're a pro user, you can add specific fonts to your brand kit here. We're not gonna get into that in this video. Also, so if you're a pro, you can upload fonts that you have gotten from other websites, or if it's a font that you have created yourself, you can upload them directly into Canva and then use them in your designs. All right, and then we're just gonna keep scrolling down and you'll see popular fonts. These are fonts that are very popular across Canva. So everybody else in the world, these are fonts that are being used a lot. And then if we keep scrolling past all of the popular fonts, we'll eventually get to the giant main list of fonts. And you can see I'm just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and it just goes on. We're only in the Bs. This is alphabetical list of fonts. So it goes on for quite a while. We are just gonna select one of these popular fonts here. Maybe we'll just select now. This one is called now. All right, so we're gonna look back up at the top of the toolbar again. And we just went over all of the fonts. And so now the next thing you can do is adjust the font size. So you can either do that by clicking the plus sign, the minus sign, or you can actually click on the number and select from the drop down list. You can also type it in. Also highlight this little handle until it turns purple and you can click 
and drag upwards or inwards to make it bigger or smaller. So next on the bar, we have the color of our text. So you can click on this and it'll open up the menu on the left. So you can either choose colors that are already in your document. You can choose from a color palette down below, or you can click on the plus sign to add a new color and select whatever color it is you want to make your text. And then you just click out of it. And there we go, we have some purple text now. So then we go to the next little group of tools here. And so this determines the text emphasis. And all that is, is your bold, italic, and underline. We can click on bold, we can make it bold. We can click on underline to make it underline. Great, so it's pretty easy there. And then this one is really neat. It'll make all of your text uppercase with one click of a button. And then you can click it again and it'll return it to how you had it originally. So then the next little section, this is paragraph formatting tools. So I'm just gonna put some more text in this text box real quick, or we're just gonna scroll down. And so I've added some text to my text box, which, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> isn't subtle at all, but you know, maybe you should take a break and like, comment, or subscribe. I wouldn't mind it. I'm not gonna go anywhere. I can wait for you just a second to do that. So the first we have alignment. So the text alignment is just where in the text box all of the text is gonna align or where it's gonna line up. So with the paragraph alignment, we have four options, which just means that the text is gonna line up into a nice straight line on the left side. All right, if we switch it to the center alignment, then it means that it's gonna line up in the center. So let's just click that. So the center point of each line is going to line up. And so then your edges will not necessarily be a straight line, but the middle of each line will line up. And then we have the right alignment, which lines it up on the right side of the text box. And then we have a fourth one, which you can see the bars are lined up on both sides. And what that does is it makes it straight on both sides. It'll put extra spaces in the middle to make that happen, but it makes for a clean square like box shape. It'll just line up on both sides. The next thing that we have is bullets. So these are easy. You just click on it. It'll add a bullet for each new line that you have. I'm pretty sure you probably know how bullets work, so I'm not gonna go into too many details there. And then you can click it again to get numbers instead of bullets. So those are your two options, numbers or bullets. And then you can click it again to take away all of them completely. Then the next tool is spacing. So here we can adjust three things. We can adjust the letter spacing, which is the spaces between each of the letters. So you can adjust the letter spacing by dragging this bar to the left and to the right. So we can make them really far apart, make them social distance, or we can bring them all nice, tight, and cozy and make them really close together. So then the next one is line spacing. So that is how much distance is between each of the lines. So if I do it this way, we'll spread the lines out pretty far. And if I do it the opposite way, then it's gonna scrunch them up really close together. The anchor text box is what determines which way the text box will grow when you add more text. So for the top alignment, basically Basically what it'll do is as you add more text it'll make the text box grow down so let me show you what I mean by that so as I keep adding text you see it doesn't go above this line it's it's anchored on this line and the text box is growing downwards so then if we do center what it's gonna do you see this pink line is kind of lined up with this little center mark here this little rectangular oval thing so now if we add more text, it's gonna grow on the top and bottom. It's gonna keep the text box centered. So you'll see as I add more text, it's growing both directions. It's growing both upward and downward evenly. And now if we hit this one, it's gonna anchor the bottom of the box. So now the bottom of the box is not gonna move and as we add more text, it's gonna push all the text upward. So I'll show you just what I mean by that as well. So as you can see, we're never going below down past that pink dotted line. It's pushing everything upwards. All right, now we're getting into some more of the fun stuff. This is effects. So when you click on effects, 
it's gonna open up your little effects toolbar over on the side here. We don't have all day, so I'm not gonna run through each and every one of these styles. We may get more into that in the next video, but you can click through and see all the different effects. And when you click on one, there are little settings that pop up. So this one, we can adjust the thickness. If we click on this one, we can change a color, direction, and all these other things. So that's just something to keep in mind. But if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see shape. So we have none and then we have curve. So if you ever wanna curve your text or create your text in a circle, you're gonna click this curve option here. And you see, it curved all of my text and made it into a circle. If you scroll down just a little bit further, you'll see that there is a little settings bar here and you can scroll it to adjust how much it curves. So if we, the more we scroll it to the right, the tighter of the circle is gonna make. And the further we go to the left, we can make it have no curve. We can also curve it the opposite direction. And then the next thing on the top of our toolbar is animate. This is where you can add different animations to your text design. I made another video where I show you how to make an animated GIF in Canva and we use some of these features. So be sure to check that video out. We're not gonna jump into that in this video. We're sticking with the basics, but it's there if you want it you know where to find it you can play around with all the effects so then the next thing we have is position before we talked about alignment within the text box but for the position we're talking about the text box within the page when you click on position it opens it up on the left and as you can see you can align the text box to the top of the page so it'll put the top of the text box to the top of the page like that. You can put the text box in the middle of the page or you can align it on the bottom of the page. And so then we can also do it horizontally as well. So that was vertically. So you can also do horizontally where you make the text box go to the left side of the page. You can make it go to the center of the page or you can make it align to the right of the page. And then down here is advanced options and basically that's just the position of the text box on the page. So you can see I'm moving it around. It's changing these X and Y numbers. And then also if you make it bigger or smaller, that changes the width and the height. So then that brings us to transparency, which is this little checkered little square thing. So you click on transparency. The transparency is just how much of the color you have showing through. So you can make it very see-through, very light and faded or you can have it like bold and strong and you're not gonna see anything behind it. And so then we have this little paint roller and this is really nifty and handy to quickly copy the style, which is the font, the size, the color, the emphasis, how it's aligned, all of those things that we just ran through. It's going to copy that and with one click of a button, it'll apply it to another text box. Say I spent a ton of time working on this text box and I explored all of my options and I created the perfect text and this is exactly what I want and I don't want to spend all of that time creating it again for this one. I might accidentally miss something, I might accidentally choose the wrong font, or it just might take a while having to go through and make sure they're exactly alike. So to do that, you just click on the text box that you want to copy, click the paint roller, and then you click on the text box that you want to change. Boom, it made it exactly like that one. Doesn't copy the text, it just copies the style. And then lastly, we have the lock button. So if you hover over it, it says lock position only. So we're gonna click that at first. And what that means is we can't click, we can't drag it, we can't make it bigger, we can't make it smaller. But if we click in here, we can change the words in here. But you can also click this button. It's here and it's also up here. You can click that to lock it completely. That means you can't click in here, you can't change the text, you can't do anything to it. It's locked. It's stay in there. And then to unlock it, all you have to do is click on it again and hit the unlock button. And now you can move it around again. You can adjust it. You can do whatever it is that you need to do. Okay, so now that you know all the basics of how to use fonts and text in Canva, join me in my next video and we're gonna tackle how to take that and create some super cool, awesome designs that you can use for your business. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.